Welcome to my very first everything shower routine. I am excited to film this video, but first we have to get the vibes right because this is going to be a long day. We are going from curly to straight in one day, but also doing my everything routine, which is like shaving, showering, all of that. So let's start off by shaving the face. I like to use a little bit of oil first and I go in with my Venus razor. I really like this razor because it comes with little interchangeable blades. So it makes it feel like a little bit more, you know, professional outside of using this uh, eyebrow razor, even though that's what this is. <laughs> but I like it, it's cute. And I like to shave my entire face so I make sure I get the forehead, everything. I like a nice smooth base for my makeup. So this, doing this like once a week or so, is gonna be so game changing for you. But when you are shaving your face, make sure you go with the direction that your hair grows, not the opposite direction. As you see, my lip hair grows down, so I'm shaving downward. Now that looks disgusting, but satisfying at the same time, it's gone. Now my skin feels amazing. So now let's move on into the hair. I am gonna do like a minty treatment to the scalp and then I'm gonna oil my hair. I just felt like doing this, this today. This is not something I always do, but today I felt it and it actually felt good. I put the bread mint, I actually have everything linked below because I actually don't know the name of it, but I put that on my scalp and then I put the oil on my hair and I just wanted this to sit and marinate while I did the rest of my everything shower routine. Now let's get into this dental routine, y'all. My dental routine, it feels like it takes forever. Like I really dread it, but I do it. So the first thing I do is I floss. I feel like I have more teeth than everybody because this takes me so long and you have to go like in between. It's just a lot. And then I go in with my water pick because I just feel like even though I floss, it's still not out. I don't know, I feel like that extra burst of water is exactly what I need. And then I brush my teeth. And I like to use Pronamel. I love that toothpaste. It's I've been using it for about five to six years. It's so good. And if you are not using a tongue scraper, get one today. I'm judging you for yesterday, I am. But get one today and moving forward, you have to. If you don't do this, your breast still stinks and no one is telling you. So I also wanted to go in and do my whitening because of course this is my everything shower routine and I have to do everything. And I actually love whitening my teeth with the Crest White Strips. I like to cut mine in half because first of all, I get more bang from the buck. <laughs> But secondly, they don't burn my gums when I do this. As you can see, it's right below the gums, so they're not harmed at all. So I can do this every day and I won't feel sensitive. So I love, love, love these strips and I love cutting them in half. Good tip. It's probably been like a year and a half since I put on a mask, but Kiel sent me like this package and it had this mask in it. It's like a deep pore mask. When I say, this thing did what it supposed to do, friend. This thing cleansed all of my pores. It felt amazing. You gotta try this. I don't know how much it costs. This is the mini one. But then I took out my brightening strips because you only leave them on for 30 minutes. And now we're gonna get into dry brushing while the mask is sitting on my face. And I really wanna get more into dry brushing. I've had about five dry brushes and I just never do it. This brush almost made me wanna do it cause it's kinda cute. But you wanna go towards your heart. So as you can see from the legs, I'm going up, but from the arms, I kinda like went down. But anyway, I love this brush. I have it from Amazon. I'll link it for you guys, but I try to do this once a month. I don't always do it though, but I try to. We are on to the hair. I'm gonna put this little stopper drainer thing down because we don't want any hair to go down the drain. And I love adding a little shower, what do they call these? Shower, I don't know, anyway. I like to throw one in there because it makes the shower smell good. Now let's get into this hair. We are putting heat on the hair today, so you really wanna clarify the hair as much as possible. I like to start off with a mask, like an Aztec clay mask, but I do have this one from Bread and I'm absolutely obsessed with it because it's already pre-mixed. I'm just a little tired of having to get the bowl and the spatula and then mixing it, finding some apple vinegar, it's just a lot. So this Bread one is just so convenient and it's actually super soft. 
and I can kind of manage it a little bit more than I can the asset clay once I put it in. So as you can see, I can kind of brush through. I really like that. Now I did get out of the shower and let this just kind of sit in my hair for a while, but I came back in and I was like, wait, <laughs> wait, she looking good. The curls popping through. I love it. Look at that. No, it looked it really good. So I'll, shout out to Brad because I'm a little impressed here. And then my hair just felt so silky. You can tell it's a little bit shinier. It's just absorbing all that moisture. But I felt like I still want to take it a little step further since it's an everything routine and do an Olaplex treatment because my ends are still colored. I did dye my hair black, but my ends are still colored. So I just want to keep those nice and treated. Now, as far as my shower routine goes, it has been elevated, not just by what I'm doing, but the environment in which I'm in. We'll get into that. But this rain shower by Neutrogena, I get it from Sam's Club. This is the only body wash that I use. I love it. As you can see, it suds up. I always use an African sponge. You guys know this. I will link an authentic African sponge below for you guys. But I also like to go in with a pumice stone now on my feet. Don't go too hard though, because your feet will be sensitive and it'll be hard to walk. Like I've done it too hard. Don't do that. And I also go in with the Korean cloth. It's going to exfoliate some of that dead skin off. Your skin feels so smooth afterwards. I like to use a coffee scrub on my bum bum because coffee's just good and I like the grinds and how it feels on the butt so yeah that's where I put that if you guys do that let me know but I love it it feels good try it so now my Olaplex has set in my hair as you can see my hair is looking nice the front looking a little you know but I'm kind of feeling it so it is what it is now let me tell you about this elevated shower though do you see these bottles on the wall that's a game changer. Not having bottles in my hand, y'all, when I'm washing my hair, it just feels like a very spa-like experience. It doesn't feel like everything's so chaotic. I feel like when I have all my hair products in the shower, it's just so chaotic. I put my favorite products in those three bottles. The first one is my Redken shampoo, which is the shampoo that I'm using. In the middle, that's my favorite face wash. It's the CeraVe, the foaming one. And the last bottle has my Avon Skin So Soft Oil. I always put it on before I get out the shower. Now, normally I would bring my deep conditioner in, but I'm just gonna use this conditioner by 1212. I'm not using the deep conditioner because I don't want my hair to be like oily. So I do wanna do this light conditioning because I do want my hair to be nice and soft and pliable. Her products are specifically made for straightening your hair. And look at my curls though, it loves that product. After rinsing out the conditioner, I went in with this hair mist. It's basically a heat protectant. I learned that you need to put your heat protectant on before you blow dry your hair and just drench your hair in heat protectant. And so that's what I'm doing. And I'm just plaiting my hair up because I like my hair to be stretched before I start any type of blow drying because I'm going to start the process. If I can start the process before the process, I'm going to do that. Now, normally I would have shaved when I first got in the shower, but I didn't really want y'all to see this. I wasn't gonna film it, but really this is how I shave. I have a bunch of these little Venus things, but I don't have the little thing you put in it. I probably should buy it, but I don't have it. So I just use that. I'm the handle. It's working. So anyway, this is what I use to shave. But honestly, it worked out because we needed to shower again anyway. So we're gonna do another washy wash wash because you do not want shampoo and conditioner and all that on your back. That is how you have back knee and that's why we love an African sponge too because you can really get back up in there. But if you don't take anything from this video, take this, double cleanse your face. I have been double cleansing for about, I wanna say four months now. I know y'all see the difference in my skin. It looks amazing. I feel amazing. When I look in the mirror, y'all, I'm, I'm happy. And I'm not gonna say I used to not be, but it's just something about my skin now. It is just, it's just doing what it's supposed to do. And I'm obsessed, but I have been double cleansing. I cleanse with an oil cleanser and then a foaming cleanser every morning, every night, doesn't matter if I use makeup or not. I'm double cleansing with an oil and with a foam cleanser. Now, before I get out of the shower, I grab my towel. I do like to dry off just a little bit, and then I go in with my body oil before I even get out of the shower, y'all. Incorporating this has been a game changer. I think the common denominator is oil on the skin. Like, it just does it. It does it. 
Okay. Like even if I don't put lotion on top, it would still look good. This is my morning routine, but it is the same thing every day. Rose water, hyaluronic acid. I like the Kiehl's one. This is hydration. You see how my skin looks? You need hyaluronic acid and a moisturizer. I'm using the Kiehl's moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. It's so good. It's so creamy. It just gives you a nice layer of moisture. And then I'm going in with my Fenty Skin on the body, on top of the oil. When I say a combo, you ain't never combo like that combo. Last but not least, this hair, we are going to spray the color wow. Most people actually would not, and I mean would not, do their hair in the same day as an everything shower routine day, but I did. Okay, so give me a thumbs up for that at least, please and thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go in with the dryer, and I wanted to stretch it out first so we minimize the amount of heat going on this hair because I be putting this hair through so much, and it's time I treat her better, you know? So I'm trying, but I, I have needs too sometimes, so she needs to understand we got to work together. Now, I am going to put a serum on my hair. I normally don't use serums, but this one is from 1212, and it says to put it on dry hair. Now, this is my first time using the Tymo, so we are trying this together. I don't have my opinion on it just yet. Give me some time. I'm going to just let y'all watch me do it. But it does seem like it's doing okay, but I will say it was still poofy. But I didn't have it on the highest heat setting so I need to do it again on the highest heat I want to give it a fair chance but it wasn't bad it's not bad as you can see it looks good like right here it looks good it's good for like a relaxed look if you're looking for a silk press this won't give it but if you're looking for that relaxed look it will but you do need some technique behind it I decided to put these rollers in so that it'll have a nice little curl to it I don't think it worked out in my favor. I know the Tymo is gonna be good for something, even if it's just like using the Tymo to put like flexi rods in my hair or something. So that's what I'm kind of testing to see what's gonna work best. But I ain't like these, okay? I'ma just gonna let y'all know, I ain't really like it like that. It was just too puffy. So we're gonna try again, but it looked like it was probably gonna come out all right, but it didn't. I didn't sit in these overnight or anything. I just let them cool down before I took it out. So maybe if I slept in it, but I was never, I was not going to sleep in these. I'm just saying, I'm not sleeping in those, but it really wasn't giving nothing. It was just like a, a flop. Okay. I lied. It is actually very cute. It's just not what I wanted, but it is really cute. Look at the flow. Like it's giving a relaxer. Look at it. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, if you ever looking for this look, the Timo might be your, your go-to. But like I said, I didn't turn it on the highest heat setting, so there's that. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one.